If you've downloaded Mario Kart Tour and done your first race and wondering what's going on with the handling, I am hopefully here to help you out with that. Uh, so basically the game feels a little weird, especially at first. Maybe this is something we're going to get used to. Nintendo has sort of a thing where at first you're like, ah, but then once you get used to it, you're like, okay, I see you, Nintendo, you're good. Uh, but as of right now, day one, you know, first hour, whatever, first few minutes of the game, it feels a little bit weird. So let's go ahead and check out the settings. Uh, this is what you're going to want to do to make the game feel more like a traditional Mario Kart experience. Uh, so you're going to want to enable ma manual drift. This is going to let you drift from any distance. If you disable manual drift, automatic drifting is enabled and the drift time is not long enough. So you're not going to get your drift bonuses. You're not going to get those big boosts off of drifts. You're only going to get a tiny boost. Uh, but when you turn manual drifting off, you're able to turn the cart normally. With manual drifting on, you can't turn the cart normally because you're always drifting. Uh, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. So you want to enable manual drift. The second thing you want to do is disable smart steering. That's on by default, just like it is in Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So go ahead and disable smart steering. Otherwise, there's going to be AI steering going on. It's going to mess you up. I disabled auto item. This is a personal uh, personal preference. I don't want my items to be used automatically when I pick up a new box because sometimes you want to hold on to an item. Uh, so I disabled that. And now here's the, the key part of this video is to enable gyro handling. And it, it kills me to say that because I'm not really a fan of gyro handling. But what this does in conjunction with manual drift is it allows you to turn the cart normally without drifting. And then with manual drift, you're able to drift the cart manually as well. So uh, it's, it's full manual control over the cart. You just have to get used to the gyro handling. And it's nothing crazy. You don't have to turn, you know, you don't have to turn your device 90 degrees or anything like that. Uh, it's more of a... Uh, a correction tool so you know when you're coming out of a drift and you need to correct the vehicle you need to correct the card straighten it out on the road it, it comes in very handy for that uh, so let's go ahead and try this out we'll do something that I've already done here all right so this is gonna be for demonstration purposes only we're not going for the W <laughs> Also, you can boost right after the two, so just, just tap and hold, and you get the boost, just like on the console versions. Uh, so basically now we're in manual drift mode, so as you can see, when I swipe on the, on the screen, I'm always doing the hop. So you're always drifting in manual drift mode, and that presents an issue because when you're coming out of a drift, like you can't straighten out unless you do the hop and straighten out like this. Now that might be something we get used to, and it might work well in the future. Uh, especially on an easier track like this, it's not really an issue, but when you get onto these harder tracks, sometimes you just need to straighten out the vehicle or go for a regular turn. And as you can see here, when I tilt my device, I'm able to actually turn it regularly. So in conjunction with uh, manual drift, the gyro controls allow you full control over the cart. So you go ahead and drift like that. Uh, screwed that up. But... You know, you could you can drift and then straighten out. I'm driving like trash right now because I'm trying to just you know try to demonstrate everything at once. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's gonna take a little getting used to, but once I enabled manual drift and gyro controls, the game felt a lot more like traditional Mario Kart. Uh, so go ahead and try that out. Hopefully, it helps you guys out. Also, uh, something else to note is you see player names here. Uh, they're real players, but you're not actually playing with them because there's no uh, real-time multiplayer in the game yet. However, as you can see in the bottom right or the middle right, the screen here says inbound and it's coming in a future version. So for now, it's asynchronous, but in the future, it looks like it's going to be live. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So these are the settings again. Manual drift enabled, smart steering disabled, auto item is up to you. And then gyro handling. There are no gyro handling uh, there's no way to change the sensitivity, but it seems to be right. feels good. Uh, hopefully in the future we see a drift button with regular, uh, you know, regular steering. Maybe even some controller support, since iOS 13 supports that, but probably not. Uh, but that's it. Hope it helps somebody out. All right, peace.